The 1-1 one -one requires the cassette be removed for all free hub service. Start by removing the drive side end cap. With your end caps out of the way, you can remove the free hub body. Simply grab the free hub body and pull it straight off the axle. With the free hub removed, you'll notice the snap ring which holds the pawls and springs in place. This is unique in the i9 lineup. The snap ring can be removed using your fingernail or a small pick. Take note of the orientation of each paw. The paws are directional and must be put back in the same orientation. Make sure the paws are free of any debris or excess grease. Be sure the paws are in the correct orientation, with the sharpest edge of the paw facing outward. If you're using the Pro-X Freehub grease to lubricate the paw pocket, a small dab on the back of the paw works just fine. When using the oil, reinsert the paw first and put a small drop on each pivot point. Actuate each paw to make sure the oil works its way into the pocket. With your paws clean and re-lubricated, you're ready to put the snap ring back in place. Make sure the gap in the snap ring is oriented so each paw is protected. The oil seal can now be removed. With the pick inserted completely underneath the oil seal, gently pry outward. You may need to do this from a few different positions on the seal. Be sure to take care when removing the seal, as keeping it intact is critical. With the seal out of the way, you can reinsert the freehub body. Use your fingers to slightly depress the paws as you turn the driver counterclockwise. Once it's cleaned and ready to go back in, you'll need to re-lubricate the seal with Dumontech freehub grease. Make sure the edge of the seal is fully lubricated before inserting. Simply lay the seal in its pocket around the free hub body. Using both thumbs, press down as evenly as possible. Use a small amount of grease on both outboard bearings before installing your end caps.